Good morning, guys. So starting the day off with a Mocha Blast shake, water and ice, and a big giant thing of ice water. To start off the Friday, this is the kickoff to the weekend. This is a day that's typically difficult for uh, people on plan, but we are gonna make this one heck of a day and we are gonna stay focused and do what we need to do to get it done. All right, so fueling number one, Mocha Blast shake. See it fueling number two. All right, guys, so I have to go get a new pair of jeans. My button broke um, in the washer. I don't know. I found the button at the bottom of the washing machine. <laughs> don't know how that happened. Probably from overstretching it. But uh, so we're going to head over to American Eagle. Uh, this isn't the pair that you guys were commenting on the other day. This is I like the dark wash just like for a night out. I like the dark jeans. And now they have boot cut, which I love with a little bit of flair. So going to check that out. Maybe I can film inside the mall. I'm not sure. But I'm going to open up this bar right now. The drizzled berry crunch. Eat it on the way. And we'll see you over there. So we're waiting outside. There is a little bit of a line. Nothing crazy. It's like so weird because I forgot <laughs> that they have a capacity limit. Uh, so we're waiting, but um, check this out. There's a mannequin. Oh, I don't know if you can see it. Nope. There's a, the shorts look like they're getting longer, like Bermuda style. I don't know. Curious to see. Can't wait to get inside. See you in there. All right, well, we got the jeans. Got something else. And I'll show you when we get outside. I was unable to film. They were literally following us around. They're only allowed to have a couple people in the store at one time. So it was a little bit daunting, but I'll show you what I got when we get outside. All right, we're at the back of the truck. Gonna show you what we got. Uh, look at this little light, light, light sweatshirt. It's tie dye, Rolling Stones, and it's gray and purple. And a little bit of pink. I just thought that was super cute. What is the price on that? Uh, 60 bucks with half off. So it came to like $30, which is a little bit higher than I would like to spend. However, quality is really, really nice. And then I just got a pair of just plain non-distressed jeans. Um, and I got these in the, um, the darkest blue I could find. They were buy one, get one half off. I only bought one pair. Uh, and that's pretty much all I got. <laughs> What'd you get, Britt? Brittany got some workout clothes and sports bras. So that's the American Eagle haul. Hey guys, we're back home. I put the sweatshirt on, wanted to see if it would fit and it does. Here's what it looks like. Uh, I'll have to stand in front of a bigger mirror to show you a full length. It's nice and loose though, which I really like. So, strawberry shake time to match the sweatshirt. <laughs> and it's super hot, so I'm gonna go put a t-shirt back on, but it's like 70 degrees here. And Brittany and I are looking through old photo albums now, trying to put something together, um, a project and I'm gonna finish off my shake and I'll see you at the next feeling. All right guys, so I'm um, sorry about the background noise. I have the dishwasher going. I got something cooking on the stove because it's leaning green time. And I never even took the sweatshirt off and I'm still dying. It's very hot. <laughs> I gotta take this thing off. So, leaning green, I'm unprepared. I have tons of food, but I'm unprepared because I have been out all day. So, it, that kind of situation presents itself where you can either be prepared or not. And that's why I say stock up, buy stuff, keep it in your freezer, keep it in the pantry for moments like this. So tonight I'm having two of these Mahi Mahi burgers from Trader Joe's. Two of them are equal to my lean. I'm cooking them in a frying pan on the stove with a little bit of cooking spray. And in the microwave right now, I have some broccoli and cauliflower rice in a bowl to put the Mahi Mahi burger with. And then as always, a laughing cow wedge as a condiment. Haven't even had any condiments today other than the almond milk in my strawberry shake. So uh, these burgers cook five minutes on each side. Again, this is what it looks like, or this way. Let's get over to the stove. All right, 
There they are. So uh, I have a minute left to go until I have to flip them. So I'm going to flip them now. There's one. There's the other. All right. So five more minutes and I'll be back. All right. So I plated it up. Two of these are uh, mahi burgers, cauliflower rice, and a little bit of broccoli. And I said earlier that I was going to add laughing cow, but I'm oh, I'm not going to do that I, because I looked at these. These each have nine grams of fat, so it's technically 18 grams for both of these. I'm just going to forego it. I am going to put some fresh cracked pepper on top of my vegetables and call it a day. I'm not going to add fat. I'm not going to add a condiment. Just the way it is. So this is lean and green tonight cut into it so you could see look at that that is mahi mahi at its best all right so lean and green and i'll see you in a little bit i know jess and i are going to go for a walk after dinner with the dogs so we'll see you at the next fueling all right guys so we're at the next fueling we still haven't gone for the walk uh we're about to in a little bit but anyway here's the next fueling it's the mocha blast shake with water and ice, no condiments used, no optional snack, just the way it is. And I'm going to enjoy this and we'll see you in a little bit. Hey guys, so the night is winding down and I just wanted to show you, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen an Amazon box came yesterday. So excited to tell you what was inside the box. So just so you guys know a little bit about me, if you don't already, I am an extremely um detail oriented person i love lists i love um not being surprised i like to be prepared i like to i mean I, don't get me wrong i do like surprises but for the majority of who i am i like to be organized i'm a self-starter i'm very ambitious i'm very goal oriented and there's this book called unapologetically ambitious and this book is all about setting goals making them happen and i figured you know during this little time of my struggles on optavia the fact that i can go a full week and lose a couple pounds and then derail and then start all over that little cycle that i'm in i figured this book would be a great read i love to read i love to read non-fiction science-based all kinds of stuff and this book was written by a woman who was a risk taker, who was passionate, who set goals for herself and made them happen. So this is what was in the Amazon box. It was delivered um, literally less than 24 hours with Prime. It was like $18. And here's what it looks like. And I'm gonna read this. I mean, it's not that long. I'll probably finish this maybe tonight. Uh, and I'll be back to report. But if you love to read, this would be a really good one. If you love, hitting goals and reaching them and finding out what other women did to get to their goals. Check this book out. I'm excited to read it. Also, can't let this night go without, I don't know if you can even see the sunset, but it's almost seven o'clock and tomorrow the clocks go ahead. There's my baby. That's Hollywood. I named her Hollywood because putting it out there, guys. I want to be in Hollywood. I want to be I don't know. I want to just do something so where I can reach as many people as I can. So if any of you work in TV or any of that, let me know. I'd be happy to do something. <laughs> That's Hollywood. But the sunset and it's beautiful out. And I still have this darn sweatshirt on. It's really kind of getting cool now. So it's nice. It's that nice time of day. Let me just check the Apple Watch. We are at 63 so it's dropped almost it's dropped almost seven degrees and uh yeah it's getting a little bit breezy so i'm gonna head inside get my jacket on we're gonna go walk the dogs finally all right see you in a little bit oh my god guys it's freezing out and <laughs> it's pitch dark we're back and because it's so cold let me take this hat off Whew. because it's so cold oh my gosh i'm gonna make myself for my last feeling chicken noodle soup. This is a good one. I don't care who doesn't like it. I love it. It's the home style one. And this is like the new and improved version. All I do is add one cup of water to this. I put it in a bowl, I stick it in the microwave for five minutes. I don't soak it. Comes out perfect every time. Tomorrow, 
here in Jersey. It's supposed to be another beautiful day. I'm going to probably go to the mountain hiking because I got to get the dogs out of here. Um, this week has been busy, so likely do a hike tomorrow. I don't know if Jess will come with me or not. Are you going to come with me hiking tomorrow? Sure. Okay. So Jess, myself, and the dogs are going on a hike. Do you want to say anything to your fans? I got a thank you card from a neighbor because I did the whole block of snow removal during these recent times of massive snow buildup. So basically, since he stutters, the neighbor gave him a card with a nice little gift inside because he snow plowed the entire street. Would you like to rephrase? I did 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 the ba the ba. This this. Here we go. Go ahead. Let's go. Come on. One of my neighbors gave me this card so I could smack Lori in the head with it. <laughs> get out of my kitchen. Wait, there was a lead weight that I was supposed to add to it. Hold on a second. Let me get in a brick. Shackles. In a brick. In a cinder block. Shackles. Do you want? Do you want to speak to the? To I, re the? I received a thank you card from one of the neighbors. I received a thank you card from one of the neighbors because I. Um, snow blew all of the snow that had built up over the several weeks of snow. Why do you talk like a computer? Start over. <laughs> now that is how you remove somebody from your kitchen. Have a good night, guys. Stay focused, and we will see you tomorrow up on the mountain. The only problem is they, they think my name is Rick. No, Rich. Rich. The envelope said Rich. Maybe they were saying, maybe they think we're rich. Maybe they think we are rich. We're not rich. Maybe they think you're rich. Maybe they meant to write bitch. Yo, bitch, here's your thank you card. Here's my bitch. <laughs> See you tomorrow, guys. Stay focused. Love you. Bye.